spider pig, spider pig does whatever a spider pig does. Can he swing from a web? No, we can't. He's a pig. Look out, he is a spider pig. No, it's not that pig that people still reference nearly ten years after its appearance in the Simpsons movie. I'm talking about Super Pig. Known as this in Japan, Super Pig was an anime slash manga about a girl who achieved the bizarre power of transforming into a pig to fight off bad guys. Both the anime and manga's lifespan was pathetically short, running for only a year, 1994 to 1995. In America and the United Kingdom, Fox Kids aired the show, but after trying to dig deeper, I was unable to find any affordable DVDs or videos with English dialogue. My knowledge is definitely lacking when it comes to this odd tale, but I was just really fascinated with the concept of the whole thing. Okay. So, I, I really enjoyed kind of flipping through my old magazine uh, from the last video, and I totally forgot that I even had this, and I thought it would be interesting to go through. So my library, every f couple of months, they have a library sale. And on the last day is usually when me and my mom go, because it's dollar bag day, meaning if you fill a bag with anything, you, you only pay a dollar instead of paying individually for, like, an item. Like, if I would have bought this not on dollar bag day, it could have been three bucks, but I got this with a bunch of other stuff, so pretty much it was free. And I was really confused, because my library... It doesn't carry this kind of stuff. So, I was really confused. I also, I'll, I'll show an example of this later, but there's also a Nausicaa manga that I picked up from the Dollar Bag Day a few years ago. And I just find it really bizarre how, like, these things show up. Because a lot of it is, for, like, stuff that they don't want to have at the library anymore. On the other hand, there's donations that people bring in, and this must have been one of the donations, because I've never seen, like, a foreign language kind of comic in my library, or the branch, or whatever. So, okay, I have to tell you, just be glad that this isn't smell vision because this book literally smells like some guy had it in his, like, flooded basement for a century. It stinks, especially, like, when you waft the pages. Maybe I'm pr I'm over-exaggerating, but it does stink if you waft the pages or if you, like, get too close to it. But basically, I don't want to botch it because I hate when I, like, pronounce things wrong because I just look like an idiot. But in English, this is known as Super Pig. And I'll, I'll just put um, in a caption what the Japanese name translates to. But it's, it's weird. Like, I'm not sure, because there's the anime, and I don't know if this is like the Howl's Moving Castle mangas, where it just like still shots from the actual anime. It's really interesting. So when you open this, I can't read anything. <laughs> um, and it comes with a really cool, like, there's a, um, a flap. And it's like, it's the same thing. But I just kind of like how it's just like white and pink. I don't know. I just like the design of it because here it's all like colorful and it's like, whoa. But I thought that was really cool because you don't really see that with other mangas. Because um, nowadays they don't really... I don't, I don't know how they do it in Japan, of course, but you don't really see book flaps on manga. But basically, you know, yeah, there's like... It's really weird. Like, I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> There's just like a, a pig. Yeah. I'm not gonna go, again, I'm not gonna go through this whole thing. But basically, it's that whole, like, if you could think of the stereotypical anime tropes, y you'd find almost everything in here. She's late for school, and she has to run, but without toast. Just an apple this time. And of course, she runs into this pig thing, and she's like, Oh god, why did I run into you? And some stuff happens. 
blah blah blah. And hopefully I can get to the part. But um I just I really like the art. I like the time era it comes from. Oopsie. It's like it's like someone just donated this and they never read it. It's like it's in really good condition. Um yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's in Chinese or Japanese, I know I sound stupid saying that, but I just, I don't recognize any of the characters. Oh god, this is a mess. Okay. But, uh, things happen, and that's her. She turns into a pig. And then she's not the pig. Other stuff happens. I just, it's a really unique premise. It's like, usually you'd expect, like, and this is just the, the same thing with the back flap. It's just slightly different. Um, but you'd expect, you know, typically, and it's kind of a shame that I couldn't find anything else out there. I... The only anime that I could find on Amazon or whatever was like 70 some dollars and all the YouTube stuff I could find I I think it was all Spanish and I just I'm really curious if like anyone else knows what this is and maybe I'm just stupid and I'm like oh what is this but it's like everyone's like oh get a clue this is the most popular for kids you just you don't even know but um I'm just wondering if anyone else knows. I, I could only get my hand on the the first copy. Uh, this is the only one that they had. But I just thought it was really interesting. Like, this kind of just came out of nowhere. Like, someone just donated this, or... I don't know, the story. But I just, I think it's really cool. Because it's like... I don't know, it's just weird. Like, it's weird. This was the other book. Um, this was also donated, and I I got it on Dollar Bag Day. And this isn't like I'm not. I don't want to sound stupid, but it's not as quote unquote rare, like in this country at least, because you know, it's Studio Ghibli, and it's in English. So, but uh, I thought it was really interesting how. Sometimes you find some really weird stuff at library sales. I just, I don't know. Because I only have the the first volume of this one. And the movie, actually, it's not my favorite. Like, I'm, I used to be really into sci-fi when I was in high school, but... I don't know. It's just not my thing anymore. I kind of like stuff more like this, where it's weird, but yeah, I'll try and show some more detailed pictures, but it's just so strange. Like, I've never heard of this, ever, <laughs> and I think it's kind of cool because I, w I don't know, I kind of grew up with other shows like Yu-Gi-Oh! and more like shonen stuff like uh i used to be into blue exorcist and i'm watching hunter hunter i don't know if that's shonen but i only really thought of sailor moon with the magical girl kind of thing but now that i look back i realized that a lot of the anime i grew up with was like magical dory me and like i don't know like tokyo mew mew it's and then this I didn't realize how many there were. It's like the genre of its own now, with all these different kinds of shows. I just find it fascinating, like... This is, I don't know, it's, even though I don't really, like, I don't understand what's going on, I can still pick up with, like, the, the pictures. And I can kind of read the story. It's just, I never realized how popular, you know, having superpowers, and I don't know, and I just, I thought it was cool how instead of just stereotypically, like, getting into makeup and having hair, whatever you want to say, she turns into a pig, and she still kicks ass. 
She doesn't need a mini skirt to do that. So I, I don't know. I know that's weird, but I'm just thinking of that now where it's, it's kind of a shame that I can't really find more on this. Because it's just, it's such a, I don't I sound so stupid right now, but it's just a unique idea, and I, it's just cool. Hit for chewing on bamboo.